jank little moment. I have a bunch of hamburgers. I still might skip sandwich, cold remedy, and all that cookie. So I think we're ready to take it on. So let's just talk to it. Talk to you. you finally got here. This is your first, your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Oh, okay, I kind of just accidentally pressed A too fast there, but it said take it from me if you dare, basically. So this is, um, I don't remember what the name of this boss is, but he has two, um, Antoids behind him. You can't see the other one, the second one. But first, I would recommend you start with using your PSI move, your offensive PSI move that you got around level eight or nine. And I have PSI rocking, so let's take it on. It's a biting attack. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, let's just take use PSI rocking and take out the Titanic ants or whatever and block down the ants. And yeah, all of them became tame. Okay, and we got damage on the big metal ant too. So I'm gonna go with another um, PSI rocket actually. So, you know. Biting attack 20, okay. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just eat a hamburger and hopefully this will work. Okay, cool. Um, I, yeah, one more PSI rocket I can do because I only have. I'll okay, give a shield alpha. No! Okay, still did damage on it, and it became tame. Nice, we won. Awesome, we get 715 experience. Now this is now level 11. Offensive, offense win by up by one. Defensive win by one. Uh, guts went up by one. Uh, vitality went up by one. Maximum HP went up by 13. Wow. Oh, well, that's just still a big amount. Like it's usually been, it's been like 13 and 12. Um, yeah, maximum PP went up by PP went up by one. Nice. And then just like. You know, it gets fades out and like, kind of just like teleports away. It looks like you can see its body, like how it just slowly it just disappears or something. Up here is a giant step, and I really like this music. It's really nice. I forgot to point out from down there, you could possibly see giant step from that transitional area right there with the autom almost automatic butterfly. But yeah, we walk towards it, and yeah, this cool white screen and everything, and I screen. Oh my gosh, this is such a great t tune. Yeah, that's awesome. And guess what? Nest caught a glimpse of a small cute puppy. Or does that is he like thinking back to like when King was a puppy? Maybe? That's what I always that's what I always thought. Nessa's soundstone recorded the melody of giant step, more like giant grotal, am I right? I'm just kidding. Okay. So if you keep on coming back here, you just have to go through the um the um giant step cave, which I think You'll have no problem uh, going through as, as I explained further. But um, for right now, you can keep on going back here. And if I go to my goods and go to um, the soundstone, you can use it. Touch the soundstone uh, to his forwards and gather his thoughts. This is pretty cool. So right here, you can always just listen to the melody anytime you want, which is really cool. One of eight uh, places, uh, one of eight melodies have been recorded, so that's pretty cool. Only one of the eight so far. So also, when you go back to the cave, um, now that you beat them the boss, or if you beat them the boss, you know, which I, I'll put a text away what his name was because like, I didn't catch his name for some reason, of the ant thing. <laughs> okay, you can actually, um, I thought I tried to back attack, but yeah, oh, that worked actually. We automatically won, but also take note that the um, enemies in the giant step cave just run away from you. See, so, like, they're just running away from me. If we just keep on back attacking them, we can just get free experience points, which is very nice. We automatically win because we can always just, um, if we were to go in battle with them, we could probably beat them in one, one attack. So that's why they um, put that mechanic in. See them, um, our enemy monsters are just too scared to fight us and just running away. There's no Wi-Fi out here for that um, section. Usually there is. Like, there's a 90%. I'd say there's a 90% chance that there will be a butterfly there. Always in that area. But that's okay. Let's go climb down the rope. Yeah, there we go. And as you can see, the enemies are just running away because they're powerful and we can beat them. So that's pretty cool. So they don't, don't, don't be worried if they're going to attack you even after you beat the boss. They're just going to like, nope, I'm running away from you. I don't want to attack you. Your coolness. <laughs> okay. It sounds like it almost sounded like I sound I sound I said coolness like coolness like hotness and coolness I guess I guess yeah, I don't know. Hey you! The board says don't 
Uh, sorry. Do not enter. Can't, couldn't you read it? Oh wait, but like, I'm gonna zoom in like when I'm editing this. And it says don't enter. And it looks really pixelated right now too. Because it's zoomed in. But yeah, I can read. Jeez. So you just wanna read the sign? So you just didn't wanna read the sign, huh kid? Get your butt to the owner police station later. And he quickly just like goes through that little transitional house shack thing really quickly like whenever we go through we have to go through this um little um you know little area first and then we get out of the little shack it says don't enter man don't enter darn i didn't see that i did i also didn't see that when i was actually going through the place actually when i was first entering the place i'm gonna just avoid these crows almost they're scared of me are you scared of me I guess, okay, well, if you back attack them like that, you'll turn green, and they can automatically, um, just beat them in a battle, basically. And I do not want another cookie. Oh, wait, okay, no, I want another cookie if I have space for it. I thought I didn't have space for it for a second. But then I remember, I at least used one hamburger in that last boss battle. Okay, that's pretty cool. But before I go to the police station, by the way, the cars just stop if you, they don't even run you over, you know? You can just stop in the tracks. So... Yeah. I think I'm, I'm gonna go to the motel, hotel of Onet. Let me actually build my map real quick so I know what, what I'm talking Okay, it's um, it's called the hotel, okay. It's just a, a little ways away, okay, cool. So we're pretty cool. We got our first sanctuary melody, and it's pretty cool. I passed it up, wow. Okay, let's go to the motel. And I forgot to point this out earlier, this sort of room is an ATM, has an ATM in it, so you can withdraw money. Okay, I have three dollars, okay. Okay, I wanna, I wanna, um, dang it. I wanna, um, uh, check. There we go. Welcome to the automatic teller machine. Please select the transaction. Withdraw. I wanna withdraw exactly thirty-five dollars. So let me do that. Thirty-five dollars, there we go. Cause you only need thirty-five dollars for something. And that is to stay a night at this wonderful hotel. Awesome. Let's talk to this nice um manager guy, hotel manager. Welcome to the hon welcome to Hotel Onet. Um a one night stay will cost you thirty five dollars. Would you like to stay? Yes, I have the money for that. That's why exactly that's why I withdrawed exactly thirty five dollars. Uh my ATM. Yeah, have a nice stay. And this should activate yeah, there we go. Activate it, go cutscene. Ness? Ness. Ness. I'm a friend who you have never met before. Huh, that's... Wait, if I haven't met you, how are you... How do you know what we're friends? I mean... Huh. My name is Paula. Hey, that's foreshadowing for the future, I guess. Just saying. Can you hear me calling you? I guess. I am Paula. Huh. 